I get angry just thinking about it, it makes me mad. Little kids doing drugs, it turns my stomach. That stuff hurts. It stops you from living up to your potential. It holds you back. It hurts the user. It hurts his family. And it hurts his friends. I just want to shake some sense into you kids that are using drugs and think about using. So remember, don't or else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So with all these big fights being made, we got a little bit of bad news to report. Uh, Roly Romero versus the champion, Alberto Puelo, is off because Puelo has tested positive for PEDs. He tested positive for the drug clomiphene, which coincidentally is the exact same drug that Conor Ben tested positive for when he was training for Chris Eubank Jr. So because of this positive drug test, Puelo has been stripped of his WBA title. And now Roly Romero, he's going to be fighting against Venezuela's Barroso for the vacant title. I don't know too much about Barroso. I'm going to check out some of his fights, but he definitely has power. He has a high knockout ratio. He's 24, three losses, and 22 knockouts. But I got to tell you, these PEDs in the sport of boxing is really getting out of hand. Despite all the fighters that keep getting caught testing positive for PEDs, fighters continue to dope because they're convinced by maybe their doctors or whoever that they found some kind of way to get around the drug testing and not get caught. But they continue to get caught. Albert Puello, he made history becoming the first junior welterweight champion in Dominican history. And now this positive test puts a huge stain on his legacy. Puello also missed out on an opportunity to become the second man to beat Roly Romero because I was picking him to actually beat Roly Romero. And that was the fight that was gonna catapult his career and make him more famous. He would have been fighting on a much bigger stage against a bigger name like Roley since Roley is known for losing to Javante Tank Davis. That's all out the window now. So now we'll find out in May if Barroso can present the same type of challenges that Puello would have presented. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.